A sphincter says what? And they say, what? And I say, oh, so you're a sphincter? And they say, a raise? Really? No. The hog is what I call my penis. Ding! Not sure to get you open like six packs. Yellow bees exact. Flipping what? Murder one. Okay, welcome back to the yellow and black. As you can see, we got just a little bit over a week until Shadow Keep drops. So today, I'm going to let you inside some secrets of Og B and show you what I've been doing in preparation for Shadow Keep. Okay, first things first, bounties. I have been over the last few weeks stacking and collecting any of the bounties which have powerful gear as a reward. These consist of your wanted spider bounties, you can get them from Gambit, Ascendant Challenges, and of course over the last week we have had Iron Banner here which has been a wonderful source of powerful gear bounties to hold on to. The bounties from Weena, Weena, whatever you want to call the fucker, they're great to collect. Don't hand them in until Shadow Keep drops of course and then you can go and collect the map. Plus don't forget Hawthorne, she also drops weekly powerfuls you can hold on to. The most important thing is though once Shadow Keep does launch, before handing these bounties in make sure you have got a Guiding Light Ghost Shell. This will of course give you that extra 10% XP and this will mean a lot once it comes time to grabbing those extra power levels that we're going to need. So make sure you equip this ghost before you hand any of your bounties in. Okay, so another thing, just make sure that you're pretty stacked up on all the rest of the consumables which we're going to need. I definitely recommend Fire Team Medallions, they're going to be important once we start leveling again. So Matter Weave is always good if you do start to get a little bit low on enhancement cores. Pop them before any event. You'll definitely get a few during public events, strikes, whatever. Rainmakers are great if you do get a little bit low on Glimmer. I will be covering Glimmer soon, so don't worry too much about it. Planetary Materials, I do suggest probably having about a thousand of each of those minimum just to cover any infusements if the system does stay the same. Gunsmith Materials, of course offerings from the new loot pool and of course you know you can break those guys down crucible tokens make sure you've got a lot of those because when you gear to hand in and vanguard tokens now with vanguard tokens there are a few little tips and tricks to make sure you can amass some more without doing too much if you do run your strikes and collecting the vanguard gift packages which you can hand in i suggest that you launch in whichever the weekly nightfall is Make sure you equip the emblem matching the Nightfall Strike that you're launching. This week it was Insight Terminus. So we equip that emblem and we launch the Nightfall Strike. Now once we get into there, then we will hand the tokens in. And you'll actually notice that we do get a fairly decent increase in the token rewards. I have tried this with handing in normal Vanguard bounties. Unfortunately I didn't notice any increase with the tokens given to me from handing the bounties in but there was definitely an increase in the tokens from the gift packages so it takes a few minutes just to launch into the nightfall equip the right banner and hand the tokens in as you can see on the icon on the actual emblem itself it does say here increased rewards um, I didn't actually know that this worked as well as it did but it's a great extra boost for a few extra tokens. Um, another thing to know is even running normal strikes, I did notice that having the emblem on that matched the strike did actually end up giving me some more tokens. So it's you know a quick little thing you can do before you launch even a normal strike, match your emblem up, and at the end you should get some more rewards. Location security. If you head to the top link there, Sweaticles made a really easy to use checklist in the form of a spreadsheet which just shows you where you're up to in regards to materials, tokens, etc. to be ready, raid ready that is, once Shadow Keep drops. Um, enhancement cores are pretty important to have a lot of. So my little trick, I've been heading to Mercury, spamming all these simulation seeds and collecting the rewards there. You do basically get a lot of enhanced gear and legendaries drop quite frequently so you're getting lots of enhancement cores lots of legendary marks if you do have an excess let's say of legendary marks head over to your boy spider as well he does often sell simulation seeds there for legendary marks buy a couple of hundred dollars worth and go back to mercury rinse and repeat 
you will get about 80% of your legendary marks back, plus you're going to end up with enhancement cores, glimmer, all sorts of other things as well. So it's a really quick and easy way to just get some extra cores. I don't really have any gear that uses simulation seeds to enhance with, so I'm pretty safe there. If you do run weapons that use simulation seeds, then maybe check and use a different planet. Um, if they are gear that you use quite often of course, but otherwise I think you're pretty safe to go and hand in most of your Mercury consumables because I don't think we'll be heading back to Mercury to see old brother Vance anytime soon. Now when it comes to Glimmer, I have been keeping a couple of stacks of shaders there just in case I do run short. But what I have been doing, seeing I have had an excess of Glimmer each week, is basically been purchasing things and putting them in my vault to resell once that new Glimmer cap comes next week. Um, I found the best thing to basically purchase is the ships. Um, they cost you 7,500 Glimmer to buy, and on resell we will get 5,000 back. So we do lose a little bit, but we will be able to hit that max Glimmer cap on that first day if you can store enough ships and resell um, it looks stupid but it's a great way to be able to get that max glimmer straight away because i'd say that glimmer is going to be very important for us when it comes to infusing and things like that now you can purchase these ships from your own collections the savala ship is in on season three and it's available just up there on the top row grab as many of them as you can and store them for later. You will get your legendary marks back as well. You get the five of those back plus 5,000 on your resell. So I do recommend collecting as many other bounties that you can hold once you've collected all the powerfuls. These bounties you'll be able to turn in once Shadow Keep drops. Um, your Gunsmith bounties are good. You get a little bit of XP from them. Some bounties like your Eververse bounties don't return much XP at all. So I'd stay away from those. Stack your Crucible bounties your vanguard bounties, anything basically that you can hand in to give you that little bit of an XP boost. As you can see there, there's certain bounties Ever which I just stay away from completely. The ones at the higher plane of that scale is what you want because they're going to give you that more XP. So with only a week to go, basically the best bit of advice I can give you at the moment is just to play. Um, the more you play, the more glimmer you're going to accumulate, the more legendary time. marks you're going to accumulate, planetary materials, the rest of it. Mods are going to be important. We're unsure on how the breakdown of mods are going to work, whether the mods that we're already holding are going to be replaced with new ones, or whether we're going to get components to be able to buy more. But at the moment, it's just important to do as much as you can to be as prepared as you can for once Shadow Keep gets here. Well, that's pretty much it. All I can say is good luck everyone, and I'll see you at 960 power, hopefully, the first week or so. But yeah, it looks like we've got a big grind ahead of us anyway. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in, I hope you've learnt some little tips or tricks or something, or at least um, come to the conclusion that my hunter needs some help. Look at that face. Anyway, see you next time guys. Thanks for tuning into the B-Files. Peace.